that good? But I think, you know, we can't just say it was good and just leave it at that. Total silence. <laughs> but um, what, like I said earlier, what I really want to see is continuity. Uh, if not, I think, you know, to be honest, Ralph will be wasting his time coming every year. And um, I think um, my heart, like, you know, he said nine churches. Yeah, that's great. Fifteen churches. Yeah, that's great. Even greater. But I think if each one of us begins to dream of at least one, you know, at least one over the next year, we have how many churches represented here itself? You know, how many youth groups represented here? And if we, if each one of us say, yeah, I want to start a micro church. I want to see it growing. I want to see it multiplying. You know, you're going to see your churches growing. You know, you're going to see, you know, because how many of us are praying like crazy, saying, Lord, send the, send souls in, send, you know, all that. But what if we are praying and we are going in the wrong direction? And I'm talking to myself as well as a local pastor. You know, is it, is, could it be that the Lord is saying, yeah, you know, that, that hub is there. But then beyond the hub, there are people that we can reach out to, that needs to be reached out to, because everyone's not going to come into our church. You know, everyone cannot, but yet you have the, uh, what, what did you use? Is it multicultural or, uh, no, bicultural people who can reach a community. And, and I think that's where we need to say, Lord, begin to reveal those people. And really, as senior pastors, leaders, begin to dream. Dream, not where you are right now, but where you want to go. Where you want to see, you know, begin to dream about your people. You know, like I said, you, know, you have the crazies, you have the fanatics. Dream for them. You know, be, be adventurous. Be adventurous to even release them. You know, and be ready to also sometimes, you know, clean up the mess. You know, that's part of leadership, right? Because, you know, we, you know, we, would, we would love to have the perfect guy going out. <laughs> but it's like, you know, no, let's begin to really, because I think people are becoming ready in this nation to listen. You know, we're, you know we're, uh, those of you are getting on the streets, you will begin to understand that people are stopping. They are, they are, they are, they are hearing that, you know, there is, God's opening the doors for us. I was, I was, um, I was reading Acts and, you know, Acts 2, 41, it says how the Lord added to the church. But then Acts 9, 31 says that the church multiplied. You know, from addition, they went to multiplication. And the multiplication happened because they had to leave Jerusalem. <laughs> and I think, you know, that there's a principle there. That if we are going to be like level two or kind of three, you know, we're just going to be adding. But if we want to multiply, then we need to go. We need to, and, you know, so uh, that's something. Um, another thing that I was, I was thinking of, and I'm going to put this to you, is what if we have a couple of groups that do Zoom on a monthly basis? And where we work through one of his books, like the multiplication, or, you know, and, you know, um, Ralph, what would you recommend, like multiplication or the Level Fly Church? or Multipliers. You know, if, if you're saying, yeah, actually, I would like to, you know, some of us could get together on Zoom. You know, some of your groups, even right now, you know, you could get together on Zoom. And where we read through and work through. Because see, when I look, look around the room here, and like I told um, Ralph yesterday, I said, those who are keen have come. Those who, are, who have come, have come with a purpose. And, and I believe, you know, that purpose is you want to see you, yourself growing. You want to see a movement growing. And we can create a movement right with this group here. That when, you know, by the time he comes next year, you know, this can be doubled. You know, this can be doubled. So, you know, there is the potential of a movement within our hands. And so, if, 
if I think, you know, let's begin to look at it, but I think I want to be more practical as well. And if you're saying, yeah, I would like to be on that Zoom, email me your details. Email me your details. You have the national office address, right? You have my phone number, etc. But email me so that we can begin to build those groups and where we can begin to start this Zoom uh, conferencing and where we commit to reading the book and discussing. Because see, what's going to happen is we are going to influence each other as well. And we're going to keep each other accountable as well to say, hey, yeah, have you got those three crazy guys with you? <laughs> you know, <laughs> have you, you know, have, you know, have you been, you know, what, you know, and, and I think we need each other, right? We need each other. And, you know, this, so this is a great way of us growing and, uh, and, you know, establishing kingdom. So, you know, if you if you would like to be a part of that, it, and, and, you know, all of us are not going to come onto that one Zoom thing. But we're going to have different, maybe regions, maybe, you know, local, maybe some of the young people together, or maybe mix it with the young and the old. As, you know, and so, you know, we're going to, but I would really love to see that beginning in the autumn. And, you know, there's no, you know, maybe once a month or maybe once in three weeks, you know, where we read a chapter, come together, we, we talk about it, we talk about the challenges we are going through. So that it becomes also a support mechanism for a microchurch movement within Foursquare Great Britain. How do you like that? <laughs> right? Um, what else? Just a couple of things. Um, yeah, even, you know, I was talking with some, some of who are, who are the youth leaders here? What if you guys start also speaking vision to your young people to say you're part of a youth group? But what if you have your own micro group? You know, whether it's in the school, whether you know, wherever. So don't limit yourself or restrict yourself. This is not just church is people. Right? So so begin to begin to because and also I think as leaders, senior leaders, uh, senior pastors, talk and cast that vision to people. Talk about micro church. Be excited about micro church. You know, read more about microchurch. Even last year's teaching was on microchurch. That inspired me to start the Dunstable Church plant. And so, you know, we have all of that on our YouTube channel. So, you know, because if you don't talk about it, you're not going to see heads popping up. You know, if you don't cast that vision, you're not going to see people saying, oh, yeah, I think, you know, that's something I really, really love to be a part of. So, so let's begin to, you know, actively move so that next year when... Ralph comes, you know, we can tell him, yeah, it was a bit of a slow year. We kind of hit about 15 new microchurches. <laughs> and uh, um, is this okay? See, remember he said we need the Holy Spirit and the Bible. And, you know, this is part of also you training up guys and girls. And, you know, think about the three people that you begin immediately. Three people that you begin immediately. And, uh, you know, we begin to support and think out of the box. Think out of the box. McDonald's, Starbucks, Costas. You know, those are, you know, those are free rent. <laughs> free rent for us. And uh, you will have some of that. You know, where, you know, people will say, yeah, it's not a real church. Say, well, then Jesus didn't do a real church. He sat under trees or, you know. <laughs> just never inside, you know, mostly inside a building. So I think, you know, we need to go back, go back to basics, go back to the scriptures. Because there's so much that God wants to do through us. Okay? So email me if you'd like to be a part of the Zoom. I will also send, uh, get Sheridan to send you all the link to download um, the, uh, the book as well. And um, because you will also hear, because something that, again, you know, I know the board is here, so I'm just throwing this. Uh, but also really having a team that drives the church planting movement in our, in our denomination. A micro church movement or whatever, you know, that, and you know, some of you, I'm going to invite you to be a, on that. So that, uh, so I think, let's start dreaming. Amen?